Hey, hey, it's LJ and welcome to another episode of LJ Reacts. For those who don't know, this is my little YouTube series where it's all reaction videos really, but you know, I, I'm focused mostly on era, the era I seem to have missed growing up. Um, yes, a lot of the music in the last 10 to 15, maybe, maybe even 20 years seems to have passed me by. Uh, so this is my series where I sort of go back and revisit some of the the lost tracks that have that sort of passed me by um yeah uh you can check out the channel i've got a good few videos sort of piling up at the minute uh check out see what else i've done uh like share subscribe you know how this works if you've spent enough time on youtube um so yeah uh if you'll of course if you like my stuff you can like me on the social medias um, I'm outside of this. I do make appearances in public. They are all listed on my link tree as well as every other project I'm currently involved with. And um, of course, if you're feeling really generous, you can chuck us a tip. Um, just to help keep the lights on, really. And without further ado, let's just crack on and see what we're dealing with today. So today I'm, uh, it's a bit of a personal one for me actually, um, it's not a suggestion, this is just something I really wanted to do, um, I, unfortunately uh, I've recently lost a good friend of mine um, by the name of Len Davis, uh, he, a bit of a mentor to me in uh, at least the production aspect of things I've done in my life, um, <laughs> unfortunately got um, he's been really ill this year so I've never got the chance to show him any of these videos because Oh, especially some of the early ones, he probably would have been appalled with some of the some of the methods I was using. Um, I really would have loved just to get some input from him on some of the stuff I've done as of late. But yeah, unfortunately, um, nature was not that kind to me. Um, so yeah, he passed away. I, I believe I know he was recently suffering diabetes. So, um, his son's not released the official cause of death yet, but um, yeah. So why am I talking about my good friend? Um, well, because yeah, he he released an album uh, probably about ten. It's got to be probably over a decade ago, um, and it's recently it sort of kind of comes on and off of Spotify depending on um, depending at the time on what it, you know what he was doing. You know, he sort of took some stuff off and then put it all back on again and. You know, I'm not sure if I actually heard the album all the way through. Uh, I know I listened to a few tracks here and there after it came out, but it's been so long. I thought, you know what, I'm going to revisit it. Um, so, yeah, this is, um, so like I said, so this is my friend Len Davis. Um, he, man, he, he's, he was an interesting guy, man. Um he went, uh, you know, in in his late fifties, he decided, you know what, I figure it's time for me to try and take on Hollywood, and I'm gonna give him his credit. He made a fucking good go of it. Um, I know he struggled a bit, you know, when he first moved over to LA, but he he did really well for himself. Um, I don't think he quite became quite the movie star I would have liked to have been, but you know, he he was aware of, you know his age and how that was gonna oh, be against him but yeah he still um got his name uh on various credits as uh executive producer for for some uh small series um over there so i can't deny he had success over there um really, um but yeah i, I know he i only know for a few years before he sort of moved over there um like i said he was a Kind of, kind of a what did I say? Production mental? I don't know. He certainly is. Resp if it wasn't for him, I severely doubt I would be sitting here doing this right now. Um, certainly not with it looking at least the level it is now. Um, but yeah, I. 
um i mean i i always thought it was a great musician from um i remember road, a couple of road trips we'd sort of go and be sort of traveling uh doing these production jobs and you know we'd sort of have all various cds like those um what he really likes he was oh, for a rock and roll guy he was a lot more into electronica than i than an, i have ever been um but I remember there was this one album he he loved that he picked up a, a service station somewhere, which was just like um, a load of like eighties electronica, uh, but like the twelve inch edits as opposed to the single edits. Um, so there were some great tracks on on that one, and yeah, I remember he used to show a couple of the tracks he sort of showed me were uh, just demo tracks that he recorded, um, just sort of you know tr try stuff out, you know, and he said written a couple of songs and you just wanted to put them down and i just remember thinking how amazing that she sounded that she sounded um for demo tracks that there are uh, professional quality yeah tracks that i've heard on the radio that didn't have the same level of production quality as his demos and you know he was a humble guy about it as well um he's he loved the, and he loved all areas of production but he really did have a love for for the music business. Um, weirdly, one of my favorite photos of him, um, that he sort of lived in like a this uh, studio space when I was when I know him. Um, sort of had um, of all things pro, pro wrestling school downstairs, and then he had the editing suite upstairs. So you know, sort of wander around doing jobs for him, and you know, he had photos floating around like like you do and I, it's just like one that really jumps out to me that i um i don't think he ever made it onto like facebook or anything which is a shame because of all the photos of him my favorite one was him as a roadie for for the spice girls in like the mid 90s late 90s one of the major tours is you can sort of the photos just i think you can see one of the girls arms and there's just him just in like the uh wearing like the tour t-shirt just at the side of the stage just um checking some wiring or something no reason that would that was like my favorite photo um but yeah so he's he's not with us anymore um uh yeah i only found um a week ago today as i'm recording this it was basically i found out just before i did the indiana jones uh reaction video and so it's basically been playing oh understandably it's been playing on my mind quite a lot um so yeah, I I thought, well, I do these reaction videos, um, and, I, and I'm really starting to enjoy doing them, and they mean a lot to me. So I'd, while I can't show him what I'm doing anymore, I can still bring him into into this. So that's why I'm I'm going to be doing this. So the one studio album that uh, he brought out, uh, I try to think what year it was. I, like I said, I'm pretty sure it would have been around 2011, 2012. It was originally brought out. Um, it was called Invitation for Dream. Um, like I said, I think I heard some of the tracks somewhere after it was released, but it's been so long since I've listened to them. Um, that might as well be new to, tracks to me. So that's what I'm going to do. I am just going to remember my friend, listen to his music and give my thoughts on it uh maybe wherever he is now he's going to take a moment just to sort of see what i think because yeah um so yeah without further ado let's crack on with this this is uh len davis with invitation for dream like i said i i'm sure i've listened to these some of these tracks in the past and see Len was always a hard rock guy, but I don't remember some of the tracks being that like hard rock. So it'll be interesting to see sort of how you, how this sounds. Um, Cause I remember he, was, he did a live album a few years ago. And I remember he posted some like the rehearsal footage on Facebook and oh, it was just great old time rock and roll. So maybe that's what I'm going to be getting him. Maybe it's something that's going to really sort of catch me off guard. Ah. <sighs>
is a dream reality, and reality a dream. A dreamer runs an eternal race, chasing crystal images composed of fragile ideals that shatter when touched. Whoa, you can hear his electronica influence in the background there. I mentioned about uh, the 80s 12 inch collection that he used to have in the car, uh, used to have in the van. Um, so yeah. Reality becomes nothing more than a mirrored image reflected from our dreams. A peaceful soul has the sweetest dreams to relax, maybe to sleep. To sleep, a chance to dream. love the guitar work he's got going on in the background there and him on the keys and the sax was definitely not something I was, I was expecting like I said um, I remember listening to some of these tracks a few years ago and this is definitely the sort of atmosphere that's not coming back to me which is odd I remember because where he did his live track it was more just traditional rock sort of uh, classic rock so maybe we'll see which direction this goes because uh we have a longer song at nearly six minutes.
So that was Len Davis. Artiste. Actor, author, man who revolutionized production in British wrestling. And so much more. Um this is on to the final thoughts bit of um of the video, isn't it? So trying to think just trying to think what my final thoughts are I miss you my friend that's all I thought when I did the, uh, the title track for the album it was taken to a dream back in Germany I was incredibly blessed that while I was recording it one of the owners of the studio heard it and he said Lane can I play a sax and I said absolutely why not so consequently um, after a couple of wonderful takes we did a concert track and that's what ended up on the title 